let's continue our discussion with numpy tutorial number 19 okay so in this video we'll be gonna learning normal distribution so in statistic you must be familiarized with the gaussian distribution so how to implement this gaussian distribution while using numpy normal function we'll also be using matplotlib library to visualize that normal distribution but first we need to understand that what is uh, uh normal distribution okay first thing first so the normal distribution is one of the most important distributions it is also called the gaussian distribution after german german mathematician called friedrich gas now what does uh, normal distribution do it do nothing but it fits the probability distribution of many events such as iq scores heartbeat it will fit all the probability distribution of that events and for that normal distribution we use uh, numpy module random and within this random module we have a function or method that is normal and it will get all the normal data distribution but before implementing the coding you must be able to understand these three things these are very important the first one is loc means lock so it is nothing but it is the mean where the peak of the bell exists when we implement the graph then we will be see that what does mean by peak of of the bell that is exist but understand that loc will be your mean from that data distribution and scale will be the standard deviation and it will say that how flat the graph distribution should be and the size of the shape of your returned array or data distribution so before implementing let me show you the manual of uh, this if you go to this page numpy this is binomial not binomial this will be normal so you can see right here that um, it takes three uh, argument loc scale and size loc will be your mean scale will be your standard deviation and the size will be your data that you you want to get that mean and scale from that data so you can also uh, check this page numpy manual page and you can get more information from here so now let's back to our jupyter notebook and let's implement the code so what i'll be doing here so i'll say that from numpy import random module and i will also import here a new library that is matplotlib.py plot as plt if you have no idea about matplotlib and if you are a newer and if you are a naive for machine learning then skip this part you don't need to worry about just focus on normal distribution matplotlib is a library that will uh, give you some graphs for visualizing your data okay after that let me create here an array by the name of arr and after that random random dot normal function and this normal function take three parameters or you can say argument the first one loc that is the mean let's say i am going to give it a mean mm, let's say 0 0.75 okay and the scale will be let's say uh, 0 0.14 and the size will be uh 100 so what i want i want suppose these are 100 people's data the, this 100 consider it that they are 100 people's and what i want here i want the normal data distribution of that 100 people and let me change this arr to height and i want the height that how many heights of this 100 people's are so for that i will do what oh, i will simply use this normal function of random module so that it could give me get me the normal distribution and there i can simply get the mean and standard deviation amazing so let's print um, the height tab and shift and enter so in valid syntax what we have done right here let me check <coughs> loc scale this is perfect random dot normal this should be normal i missed r here so spelling mistake again invalid 
import matplotlib.pyplotspld from numpy import random okay now let me check what we have skill skill what is the spelling of scale let's me it is good now where is so if i print just uh, height number import random so mistake is right here this should be from okay and enter so we have this data points 100 data points and consider it uh, these are nothing but 100 people heights now here mostly uh, you can see here 0 0.71 0 0.76 72 and uh, there are a lot of things again 73 71 77 so most uh, height of people within this hundred or is 0 0.77 so this in that way you get the normal distribution uh, of your data now if i is the question said that generate a random normal distribution of size 3 by 2 what i will do for that i will simply use instead of all these mean and standard deviation i'll be using size and within this size i'll be passing 3 by 2 and it will give me the normal distribution uh, as a 2d array with three rows and two columns okay so that was the basic example now let's do some more work here now generate a random normal distribution and find out mean standard deviation out of 100 people so same we will implement the above example but this time we'll be using matplotlib graph so first thing first what uh, let me just copy this lines from here all these lines from here control c and paste it right here control v and here let me set okay the second thing you can also do it instead of giving the names you can do like this such as I want the mean 0 0.75 uh, and the uh, median will be 0 0.14 or 15 and the size will be 100. So you can use this way or just give it name such as LOC is equal to the mean. So normally we use these three values. After that, first let me check the mean. So what I will do, I will use, let me import here NumPy. So import NumPy as NP after that i'll be say that mean is an np dot mean function and i will pass the height array and the same thing i'll be doing for standard deviation so standard deviation will be np dot std and i'll pass the array my data whatever you call so if i again standard division without standard what is height std tab mm, comma i miss comma here so let me use here comma never forget comma while using print function so as you can see here we have 0 0.76 76 mean and 0 0.14 is the standard deviation of this 100 people. Now what I will do, I will use here matplotlib. So plt, we have imported matplotlib.pyplotlib.plt. It is a library that is used for visualization of your data. I will be saying that plt dot and there are so many graphs. If you tab and it will give you all the graph right here. You can use many graphs but we will be using histogram so hist and within this histogram what i will do i will pause um, for now just the height the height that is my array the data distribution so if i enter it will plot me this graph and as you can see the maximum bean now these are nothing but beans if i say here let me use here another function of plt that is show 
okay shift enter now you can see right here within this graph that we have the most uh, at 0.8 our bean is maximum so at 0 0.8 is this is the main something like uh, this or something like 0 0.7 0.5 you can say so actually it is nothing but it is 0 0.8 so it's mean that you can also check this mean of this height distribution using the uh, histogram plot you can also give it here a title such as plt dot title let's say height and this should be at the bottom so let me use this code here show shift enter so you can give it higher so again spelling mistake okay no problem so in that way you can check uh, the mean of your data distribution and you can also implement uh, while using this normal function of random module the normal data distribution also known as gaussian distribution so this was nothing but just the basic and we will implement this in real machine learning project at the end of this numpy tutorial so in the next video we will be learning uh, tutorial number 20 in which it will be binomial distribution so see you there